about. I got to put you down. Ain't that talking to you, baby? And I don't mean maybe. You broke my heart from the start, and now you know I'm bound. I gotta put you down. Just what were you talking about, age or individual? Oh, the audience, of course. You know what I mean, Uncle Sam. Yep. Well, <laughs> please, man, Uncle. This show business is your whole life, isn't it, Uncle Sam? Uh, not this kind of show business, Ned. You know, I want to act in drama. Shakespeare, that's my ambition. You've been saying that a long time. Why don't you do something about it? Oh, you're a law student, Ned. You don't understand. I understand enough to know you could realize your ambition. They won't give me a chance, Ned. They keep saying, go on back to your cough and your comedy. Public's not ready for that dramatic stuff. Well, maybe they're not on. Of course, that is Ned. The public's ready for anything that's worthwhile and original. And someday, I'm going to do Shakespeare, the fellow, or my name is... Ah, who is it? Oh, come right on in, darling. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, come on in. Mr. Lamb. Yeah. I don't like to impose on your good nature, but would you mind running over that new bit with me? Well, no, of course not, honey. Hello, Miss Davy. Glad to see you, Miss Davis. You two go right ahead. I'm going out front. See you later, Ned. Good luck. We need it. Now listen, now. When we walk out to the middle of the stage, I'm going to say to you, you're a pretty funny young lady. You take the call. What do you say? No, you take the call, and I'll take the bus. <laughs> <laughs> that'll get it. That'll get it. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, we have a guest with us tonight, a star of a decade ago. And you can believe me, she is marvelous as a singer of the blues. Ladies and gentlemen, she is the first of the Red Hot Mamas. I'd like to have you meet all over again, Mamie Smith. What do you say, huh?
a pretty face. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I know a spot and I've got the place. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But you a lot of swingy spots. We ought to be going. Now, I'm agreed if after we get through, we can do some uh, so and so Yeah, will you take me here and there? Till every spot we've made, uh -huh. we'll check our hats. We'll meet the cat. We'll swing and step. We'll clap and clap. We'll go right down Mrs. Avenue to Harlem. Yeah. 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 You answer the phone. Okay. Yes. Oh, hello, Chief. Yeah, this is getting away. What's that? He's in town? Okay, I'll tell Matt right away. What's up? Then Jewett's in town. You know what that means. Stick on your pins. I'll be right back. yourself tonight, and someday when I get me a real show, you're gonna get a good part. You've been mighty nice to me, Mr. Lamb. You gave me my first real break in Harlem. Yeah, Dal. I've hunted a lot of them in show business in my time, but somehow or another, they won't let me do the one thing in life that I want to do most. Well, someday you'll do that real show, Mr. Lamb. You just keep punching. Thanks, Dal. Good night. I will. Good night. Got a match, buddy? Yeah, sure. All right. Listen, Mac, you ain't seen nothing or heard nothing, see? Now blow. Get up on the desk. Make yourself comfortable, babe. <laughs> it's all yours, Daddy. I love to have it. I guess too late to worry over that now. Well, what do you guys want? Matt just knocked off Slim Jewett. What? Yeah, and that actor Lim Anderson saw me turn the trip. Are you sure he saw who did it? He must have rubbed his only two feet away. You're a sap, Gilson. Right in the stage door where everybody could see you. Yeah. Juice is gunning for. What were you doing backstage? Uh, I know you're trying to see what gals are. Oh, forget it, will you? What is that actor guy's for? We've got to bump him off, don't we? Please don't let him do it, Rob. Shut up, doll. We've got to do something, Rob. Oh, we won't wait any longer. Let's knock him off. Don't get too ambitious, Ganaway. 
Okay. We'll do something about this, all right. But there'll be no more killing, and that's final. Thanks, Ross. Now listen, you mug. Here's what we're gonna do. Spanish, you and Galloway get to that actor guy and tell him I say. Thanks, Acme. You can go home now, honey. I'll take care of you. Well, how was my little sweetheart tonight? How do you feel? <coughs> Wait a minute. I'll get you something for that cough, honey. Here we are. Here's just what you need. Now you take one of these and you're going to be all right. How do you feel, honey? What's wrong, Sam? Well, wrong? Well, well, there's nothing wrong, honey. What makes you think something's wrong? I know. You're worried about me. Oh, no, I'm not. I reckon I won't be with you much longer, honey. Oh, Emma, don't talk that way. You're going to be all right, honey. You're going to be all right. But it's you I'm worried about. Why, ma'am, your hand's shaking like a leaf. What's the matter, dear? Well, I wonder who that could be at this hour. Be right back, dear. You, Lem Anderson? Yes. What can I do for you? Not what you can do for us, it's what you can do for yourself. You ain't seen nothing tonight. You ain't talking, and you're leaving town. Leaving town? Who says so? This. Is there any argument? No, you make you dig a hole in the river. Well, what do you mean? You man? heard me? Breathe. Come on, less slipping more action. We're not here to argue, we're here to tell you. I know, but why should I leave you, town? You're sick. Don't start anything. Yeah? Please. You'll be sicker than that if you don't get out of town. Oh! I don't... Um, Emma! Emma, You rats! You've killed my wife! You'll never get me to leave home! I'll see you angry! No, you don't want any more deaths in your family, do you? You got a nephew in Harlem, you crazy about. You wouldn't want anything to happen to him, would you? You he wouldn't dare home, my nephew! No, well, the same thing will happen to him if you don't get out of town. Emma. Get out of town. I done told you. Get out. Beat it. Notorious gangster murdered. No trace of killer. Sorry. Say, hey, you get out of town. What do you mean, get out of town? Lost orders. Get out of town. Well. You can't do this to me. Forget all about that. I just 
got to leave town. That's the way it's got to be, Ned. I know how you feel, huh? On Emma and everything. Well, why don't you go away? I'm sure it'll do you good. Go away, will you? That's right, Ned. Sure. Maybe a trip out of town right now would be good. Right. For my help. But where will you go? Where will I go? Why, back down south where I came from, of course. Sure. Swanee River, here I come. Killing my wife. Killing? Uh, how long did you get? Two weeks. Hmm? Uh, Mr. Foley, did you got your gun with you? Yeah, loan it to me a minute, will you please? Thank you, Mr. Foley. Thank you. Stop kicking that left leg. <laughs> That shot got <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Foley. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, let me get these things on good, Judge. You know, I don't want to get away. They want good. <laughs> uh, hey, huh? I forgot to tell you. After two weeks, they're going to hang me. What? Uh, yeah, get me out of these things here. Get well, me well, out of here. Well, 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 well. Hey, you. What do you mean going out on my stage like that? Now. Why, you're drunk again, that's what's the matter. And you spoil the whole performance, so you're through. I get my laughs, don't I? Oh, scratch it! Just because she was a big shot up north. Well, you can't come down here and ruin my show. And you're setting a bad example for the whole troop. So get your things and breathe, brother. What do you mean? I mean, catch some air. Well, do, uh, don't I get a two-week notice? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, no. You ain't got no contract, have you? You know I ain't got no contract. Well, you ain't working here no more, so get your things and get out of here. Wait, wait. Now, wait a minute, Jordan. Just a minute. Hey, hey, listen. I ain't been right since I lost my wife. I had... Oh, nuts on your wife. Uh, it's you I'm wait talking a minute, about. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, 
wrong, that's wrong. Now, don't talk about my wife like that. A nuts on your wife, and you're the one that's messing I'm asking you to take your hands don't. off of me, you dirty bastard! Don't you nuts. Don't you nuts. Talk about my wife like that, buddy. Well, that finished you down here. Why, I'm just thrown out of the socket. You'll never get another job. <laughs> Crooked just the same. You're telling me. I was born wrong at the wrong time. Friday 13th. So what, Papa? Well, that leaves me behind the head wrong. Oh, Joe Lewis was born Friday the 13th, and he made the grade. And how? Think I tried in that hip block and get away. <laughs> yeah, but they tell me that fight racket is a tough one. No more harder than starving. I guess you're right at that. Say, listen here. What? Honey, I see. He's all packed up. Don't make that weak so strong. And don't you start putting on the rich with that loan too big. What do you mean? Because it ain't why it lasts you long. Money don't make me. I make money. So, brother, I'm still queen for a day. Why, you no good clown. I told you I'd bring you down. So now you listen to what I've got to say. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone away. You're gonna sigh and cry for me both night and day. Worry and strife will be written all over your face when you find out that another has definitely taken your place. Listen, baby, I didn't miss my butter when my bread was dry. Bread, right, you I mean. didn't miss my pappy when he said goodbye. No, but I didn't miss the old days, baby, and I positively will not miss the new. So how do you figure I'll miss you? Well, I could be wrong, but I bet you miss my cooking. That's what got you so fat. I'm on a diet. And I'm sober as a judge, so I can't be talking to my head. You're going to miss my fine husband and that good little kid. And all those tender moments, Papa, that brought you so much then. I didn't miss my job. When they give me the gift. No. Mm -hmm. I didn't miss the king when he asked the king. Since when did you become a son? I didn't miss the old deal, and I promised him it was not the deal. So, so, honey, how do you figure I'll miss you? Well, I know that you remember when you were jiving to young Barack. Oh, yeah, I well, that. what sauce for the goose is catch up for the gander. You're going to roll on your palate till early dawn. It's really gonna drag you, old man, when you find out I'm definitely gone. Now listen, honey, I didn't miss my first wife, the one that died in the wreck. Again? I didn't miss the investigator in the brass up my game. I didn't miss the WPA. Where are those that you let break up my hand? So I'm not there when you ever figure that I'm quite a mess here. Look, Dan Sneed over there to the piano. Just go over there and ask him about that job, yeah? Oh, all right. Sure is. Yeah. Oh, that's Steve. What are you going to say, little boy? Right hey, there. Yeah. I hear that you done dined up with that show that's wine up no. Yeah, yeah. I can't love dining with you, see? We get through here at the theater tonight. Well, sure. Go we'll see the man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but wait a minute. If you're going to talk to the man about a job, I'm going to do the talking. Because he's going to come up here using all them high polluting words, and we ain't going to never get no job. Why, boy, I am really surprised at your vocabulary. Now, you see that? 
There's a word that ain't never been in the dictionary. <laughs> I'm so so sorry that my language is a bit too high for the common element. Perhaps I should drop a dominion law where he could grasp my meaning. Now, after those few remarks have subsided, I shall proceed further into the proceedings. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to say it again. Now, after those few remarks have subsided, I shall proceed further into the pro. Uh-huh. I'm glad it jokes you. Well, I said it the first time. Well, you didn't say it right that time. Oh, go ahead. Well, I said it too. Oh, shut up. Thanks, Big Boy. Uh, uh, Ain't you gonna buy nothing? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on and get up out of there. Ain't that the Sure. What's he doing here? What's the matter with him, Rocky? I come in here and run out of dough. Why, we know him. He was one of the biggest men in show business once. So what? That ain't paying for my grog. How much do you owe you? Oh, yes, neither for you. Give him two bits, Laura. I'll see what I can do for them. I'll pay you there. Come on, then, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. And you're high as a Georgia pine. Don't you know who we are? Oh, uh, hello, please. Oh. What are you doing in this joke joint? I uh, just quit Jordan's show. Yeah, we heard about it. Yeah, Jordan put up an awful squawk. I guess you're through in the South. I had this morning. You know what? Oh, the hip. Yes, you had to put it in bad shape. Uh, thanks for that. Oh, that's all right. You were pretty swell to me and my first old lady when we were trooping in the South together. I certainly wish you would stop bringing your first old lady into my life. We quit that show that you was in with us, and we're now working our way back to New York. You want to join us? You want a man to play on Catone? You can play him, can't you? I've been playing on Catone all of my life. I don't want to play on Catone. Shakespeare. That's what I'm going to play. Shakespeare. Tell me, Walker. I'm going to play Shakespeare. That's what I'm going to play. Better stick to the thing you know best and leave the other fellow racket alone. Well, you know what a hard head makes. Put some meat on there and it'll muffle it. All right. Muffle it. Well, right. oh. Look out for my feet, will you? Oh, man, what's the matter with you? You know one thing, Orsner? This ain't right. What ain't right? Slipping out on Miss Mamie like this. We owe that woman four weeks rent, don't we? Yeah, but you can't get blood out of a turnip. But you can put old turnip in jail. Look, go, go ahead and move it. Watch out for my feet, too. Oh, man, I've been moving all the time. My feet are Watch out for them feet. Get your feet out of the way. Well, where y'all think you're going with them food sandals? Uh, we ain't going nowhere. We just coming in. <laughs> yeah. Can you show your line? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm known. <laughs> Listen yeah. I used to be a show woman myself. Mm -hmm. I know what you're up against. Now you all go right back upstairs to your room and don't be late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, sir. Now, wait, wait, wait. You, you, you come on and go oh, first. Now. Go. You ain't going to tell them after oh, my Just go right on upstairs. We'll be back yes, for sir. dinner. Don't worry about all that. Right. We'll be back for dinner. You'll pay me someday, I hope. Hmm. Instead of the ham what am, this is the ham what inch. Hello, Miss Mamie. Oh, hello, Miss Daisy. How do you feel, all right? Fine. That's good. Did you get my message? Oh, yes, I did. Yes. I managed to talk to those people. Oh, yes? Well, they're right inside. Come right oh, on with me. Thank you. I'm Miss Mamie. <laughs> oh, girl, that's one of the fun. Folks, this is Mr. Avery, Lem's nephew. I told him you had something to tell you. 
Glad to know you. How are you, folks? Well, go right ahead. Don't mind me. <laughs> we know your Uncle Lim. Oh, yeah? He's in a pretty bad fix down south. He sure needs help. Well, what's the trouble? Oh, we told him when we got to New York, we were going to stop here with Miss Maynard. And he said, be sure and see the Jews all right. Oh, that's nothing. He always did worry about me. But he sure needs help something awful. We did what we could for him. I know where you can find him. If we can get him back up here, maybe he'd get started again. I got an idea, Ned. Yes, Brother Moe's church wants to do a high-class play. That's right. Perhaps you'd let him put on a fellow. That would be nice. I'll go see Brother Moe's tonight. That's a great idea, Miss Mamie. And it would bring Uncle Lem back, too. I sure would like to see him again. I'll see you later. Right. Again, huh? So you owe Miss Mamie some board bill, huh? Uh, we won't go into that. I told Miss Acme. Oh, Clyde, What's the matter with you? You know you're supposed to sleep in the corners, not just the center of the room. Yeah, but I told Madam Mamie when I come in here that I was strictly a center man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, look here, honey. Uh, what's that shining you got under your apron there? Oh, that's my time. Costume? Yes. Now, what you doing with that on? Oh, I've been upstairs rehearsing. Oh, you in show business? No, but I want to be. Oh, you want to be? Mm -hmm. Now, ain't that a coincidence? You looking at somebody that can do you a lot of good in show business. Oh, yeah. I'm closer to the boss than 99 S 100. Well, I'll put you on Broadway next week. Oh, my. Yeah, but suppose you let us see what the costume look like. Certainly. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be a killer here. Ha! Yes, sir. You working now and don't know it. Uh, Sid, what, what do you dance, honey? Oh, just a little jitterbug. Jitterbug? Beat out a little rhythm there, for You me. bet I will. Yeah. <laughs> That actor guy? Ain't nobody else. What is he doing in Holland? Belching to the law, maybe. Well, well, Miss Bluford, I'm mighty glad to see you again. Well, Mr. Anderson, how are you? Well, I'm quite well for an old timer. <laughs> Tell me, what's all the news here in Holland? Oh, nothing. Everything is quiet. Everything quiet, eh? Well, that suits me, all right. Well, where have you been? I've been south, Miss Bluford. For your health? Yes, I guess it was for my health. I think I'll sap him. Wait a minute. You tail him. I'll get rough. Jam up. But you know one thing? It's really a pleasure to get back here in Harlem again. I love it. Oh, it's a pleasure having you back. I'm glad to be here. I'll take this paper. I thank you. Give my regards to your husband. I'll do that. Bye-bye. Bye. I think it's great that Uncle Lim's coming back to your old fellow. I'm sure it'll be a great success. And my church people agree that this production of Othello will make for better entertainment in the community. And just think of it. It'll meet the man who never goes to church. Exactly, Desdemona. Won't Lem be happy acting in Othello and at the same time having the cause? All of my people are enthusiastic and the spiritual uplift will be tremendous. Gee, I wish they'd come. I'm so anxious to meet Ned's uncle. Are you sure it's him they saw? Dead sure. Ganaway's trailing him now. 
Well, you get word of Gilson to show up in my office as soon as he can. Now listen, boy. You better watch Gilson. He never got over the fact that you snatched all Davis from him. Don't you worry about Gilson. I'll take care of him. Here you are, son. Hey, come on, Dad. If Brother Anderson will faithfully work with us, this play will be to the everlasting credit of Harlan. It'll be the dream of my life if he'll let me act with him. Oh, you'll act with him, all right. Hello, folks. Is Lil here yet? Oh, he hasn't come yet. I hope he heard us. I'm ready to go. Hello. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, oh, now sit down, brother. Sit down. Y'all make yourself comfortable. Hello, folks. Hey, what's that? Hello, folks. Hello, what's that? Hello, what's that? Hello, what's that? Listen, you know, we're all going to have a great show when them come. Come on, up, They're all waiting. <laughs> I wonder what's keeping you. Oh, here comes them now. Oh, oh hello, Slam. Oh, what's up? Oh, and if you ain't the same person, you haven't changed a bit. No. Gone, Miss Mamie, you look younger than ever. You think oh. so? <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, Lamb. Um, did you have a fine trip? Oh, Miss Mamie, I had a wonderful trip. We laid over in Washington for about a half an hour, but I was very impatient because I was in a hurry to get here to some of your good biscuits. I knew they'd draw you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lamb. Yeah. This is my surprise. Yes. My fiance, Miss Desdemona Jones, is going to play opposite you. Hello, Uncle Lamb. Desdemona? Well, boy, that's the name of one of the leading Shakespearean characters. That's right. Desdemona. Oh, you remind me so much of my Emma when we were married. Thank you, sir. You've made a fine choice, my boy, and I'm sure you're both going to be very happy. Thank you, sir. Yep. Lem, yeah. I want to introduce you to Brother Moans. Glad to know you, Brother Bones. Glad to meet you, sir, but the name is Moans. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come, let's sit down mistake. and have something to eat. Oh, right. Now, I want to help you. I'm glad to see you eat. Nah, that's good. Yes, indeed. Look here, boy. Well, this is going to be good. Oh, this is going to be good. You imagine me again. See, he's lucky, huh? That boy is lucky. <laughs> Must have a rabbit foot. <laughs> Hi, boys. Hi. Now listen, you dudes, I told you no more killing. Our picture's in the paper again. The time anybody even runs too fast in Harlem, the cops come to me. Well, suppose that ham act is cool. Well, you gotta figure out a way to get rid of him easy. So, John? We could get the nephew out from out where he lives. Maybe a hint to him might do some good, huh? Yeah, we can convince him that we don't want an uncle around here. All right, but take it easy. Okay, Chief. See you later. Audition and everything? Oh, sure. That's a good idea. Why not? Well, what are you waiting on? There's a plenty of talent right here. Oh, let's get started then. Let that Miss Mamie cut us off, huh? Let's get started. Oh, no, I can't. Let me, let me. Come on now. You sing that good old song. You know you sound long time ago. Come on, Joe. I can't sleep at night. I can't eat a bite. Cause the man I love, he don't treat me right. He makes me feel so blue. I don't know what to do. Sometimes I said he's die and then began to cry. He went away and never even said goodbye. There's a change in the ocean, change in the deep blue sea, my baby. I'll tell the world there ain't no change in me. My love for that man will always be. Now I've got the Harlem blues. 
my man went away. I ain't got no time to leave. Yes, I must find him today. He makes me feel so blue. I'll do things I wouldn't do. I'll do like the diamond bay calling hop. Gonna stand on the corner, gonna blow my top. Since my love has been refused, now I've got the Harlem blue. Harlem, Harlem, now she's got the Harlem blues, yeah, she's got it, then the man is gone away, gone away, she ain't got no time to lose, that dirty man has done her wrong, oh, boom, 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 he left her anxious to hear of this meeting. Well, uh, good night, Brother Moans. And you'll be ready to start your rehearsals immediately? Immediately? Why, Brother Moans, I've been waiting for this opportunity longer than you have. Well, <laughs> good night, children. Good, good night, night, Brother Moans. Thank you very much. Right, 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 right. Anyone think his name? Brother Moans, you're a dear. I'm happy about this myself, my child. Good night, good children. Good night. Good, night. Well, good night, Brother Moans. Well, we must be off, too. I promise to get there tomorrow home early. Well, good night, children. Good night. See you in the morning. Good night. See you. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. And uh, Miss Mamie. Yes. Take good care of Uncle Lem now. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to let him out of my sight. I Let's know that. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mamie, you're a knockout. I swear. Oh. Just like you yeah. always been. Hello, chick. This joker trying to see if you a good time. Yeah, maybe you need some help. That'll be enough out of you. That's it. Well, you saw them all for a dame with a name like that. Why? <coughs> You'll be all right, my boy. So. You know, Ned, you were pretty lucky. Uh, if this came down a half an inch more, we'd have had trouble with your sight. I tell you what you do, Ned. Uh, drop into my office and uh, say a day or two. I want to check and see that that heals there. Okay. Yeah. I want to bid you people good night. Good night, Good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. Thanks very much. Good night. Thank you for calling. Good night. Good night. I'm feeling there. Okay, honey. Well, I wouldn't worry so much about it. Dr. Reverend said it wasn't serious. No, it was dreadful. Why, well, he might have been killed. And you're sure you don't know who did it, Ned? No, I don't know. Oh, they said something about making you remember, Uncle Lim. Who, Lou? They ain't got no respect for nobody. Come, Desdemona. I'll take you home. Are you sure you'll be all right, dear? Oh, he'll be all right, child. Absolutely. Don't worry. Honey. All right, then. I'll be around in the morning, yes? Yeah? Okay, sweetie. Bye. Bye-bye, honey. Take care of yourself, Ned. Good night. Oh, you'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Ned? Yes, Uncle There's something I've got to tell you. Yeah? Do you remember that Slim Jewett killing some time ago? Slim Jewett? Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Well, yes, the gangster who was killed in front of the stage off. Well, Ned, I saw that murder. You did? Yeah. But why didn't you notify the police? Oh, that's just it. I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't, Dalton? Well, after the killing, I went home. Emma, she was terribly sick. Two men came to the house and told me if I didn't get out of town, you'd get the same as Slim Jewett. Oh, this doesn't make sense. Oh, the whole thing don't make sense. But what did they do to me? Look what they did to you tonight, Ned. You mean... That's it. You see, Ned, I didn't want to spoil your career, so I thought I'd better go away again. If I had only known... I made a mess of it, and I... I think I'd better go away again, Ned. Oh, no, you don't. You'll not sacrifice yourself for me again. But what else is there to do? You're staying right here and concentrating on Othello. We'll handle it somehow. Now, that boy. Okay, Chief. Sit down and get yourself a drink. Trade ride. Make it double. Well, what's the jive now? That act is still hanging on. Yeah, he's been rehearsing for a week with the church folks and a half ride family. Well, I have my way. I put him in church and I bark. Did you say church people? Yeah, that joker's got all the churches in Holland behind him. There's only one way to be safe, Chief. Rub him out. Five down. Bad enough to have the cops down on us. If we get these church people down on us, we'd all have to blow up. Oh, what are we going to do about him then? Well, what do you say we get him in church? What do you say we get him in wrong? Throw oh, some women in this lap. Get him drunk. If these churches saw on him, he, he's gone gobbler. He's a pretty wise old Oscar. He wouldn't fall for it. Yeah, he's not smart enough to duck the woman I'm going to throw at him. There she is. 
To uh, Brother Moans here, we've reached the stage of our first rehearsal. And as you all know, a fellow was a moor. He, he was a what? He was a moor, a moor. What kind of man is that? Well, you see, he was uh, a general in the Venetian state. Mr. Lamb? Huh? Is that in the United States? <laughs> he married uh, Desdemona, Brabantio's daughter. And later on, uh, his good friend Iago makes him uh, believe that his wife Desdemona is unfaithful. And in Act 5, Scene 3, I think that's called the handkerchief scene, a fellow in a jealous rage kills his wife. Ain't that a change? But uh, later on there, uh, when he finds out that his wife is innocent, in a tremendous climax in the last act, a fellow kills himself. Then what? And then a fellow dies. That's the end of the play. Uh, oh, Desdemona, just a moment, please. Now, in the handkerchief scene, Desdemona, you'll be stage right on a couch, asleep. I'll come in and I'll do my lines. I walk toward you. Mr. Lamb, Mr. Lamb. What's the matter, honey? We ain't never gonna get the show on. Well, why not, Acme? Because Sam Dinkins is upstairs in the dressing room with a big bag of peanuts. Can you imagine that? Peanuts. Oh, mm. oh Acme, honey, what's wrong with peanuts? Backstage, peanuts are bad luck. Why, the hardest lick I ever hit my voice so late it was for bringing peanuts in the dressing room. Mm, peanuts. Look out, Relief. You've got me in your power again. Is Mr. Lamb Anderson here? Does he know you? Just ain't doll, David. I see. Miss Anderson, come on, stay Oh, all right, Joey. Oh, relax, you all. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hello, Mr. Lamb. Remember me? Do I remember Doll Davis? Why, sure I do. I... Oh, I'm afraid I'm not doing so good. Mm, well, you look like you're doing all right, honey. Well, you never can tell. <laughs> I suppose you wonder why I'm here, don't you, Mr. Lamb? Well, I heard that you were doing a play, and you did say, if you ever did one, that you would give me a part, remember? Oh, sure I did, Doll. I guess we'd better be going, too. I think so. Excuse us, folks. Good night. Uh, good, good night, night Rumo. Good night. Good night, y'all. Say, come on, y'all. Let's get the rehearsal started. My Lord. My Lord. What ho! My Lord. Hey, Lem. Where do you want me to die? Upstage or down? Lem is too busy out there talking to that notorious Doll Davis. Say. You know anything about Shakespeare? Not a thing. Well, neither do the rest of my cast, so we all start from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> now, you sit right here, and I'll be right up in the middle, Hey, what's she calling the Lord's name so much for? Don't ask me. You know much about this here play as I do. Folks, I know you'll be glad to hear that I've just engaged another professional. 
Miss Dal David. She's a liquor head. Well, so was I. Sneezed until I got another chance. She's all right. No too much. Why, it's terrible bringing a cabaret girl in a church play. You're right. She's a bad character and she'll ruin our show. Oh, Lem Anderson must be losing his mind. Nix, nix, nix. Jay comes now. Well, that'll be all for today, folks. No more rehearsal. Same time tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Had some lovely weather, ain't you? Mr. Lamb, I don't think I'm going to be so popular around here. Well, now, don't you worry about that, child. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm going back to that liquor party where I just came from. Oh, I'm... come on, Dom. Snap out of it, honey. Don't you worry about anything anybody says. You're going to be in this show, and you're going to be good. Oh, Mr. Lamb, why are you so good to me? Come on, kid. I'll walk you home. Yeah. There goes Lem with the doll now. You know what to do, Galloway. Do something worthwhile here in Harlem. But uh, what I wanted to say to you, doll, was that it's just a bit hot. Do you think you'll like it? Yeah, but I'm kind of afraid of rub. Oh, rub's gone soft. We got to take this matter ourselves, huh? Why, you're not yourself. Do you mind if I see you upstairs? Well, I'd be glad if you would. Please, Mr. Lem. I'd be glad to. Come on, we don't need to take it easy. Listen. I'll turn it to the getaway, though, you understand? If the frail gets in your way, blast her, too. Now get going. Okay. Well, doll, honey, you just lay down and take a little rest, and I'm sure that you're going to feel all right in the morning. I hope so, Mr. Lamb. I feel a little better already. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Oh, won't you come here just for a little while? Well, uh, just for a few minutes. Come on in, Mr. Lem, and make yourself at home. Well, uh, how do you feel now? Don't you think you ought to lie down for a minute? No, I feel much better. Let me take your coat. Oh, thanks, thanks. Just sit right in that big easy chair over there. You'll what? find all the theatrical papers right there. Uh-huh, the variety. You know, Mr. Lem, huh? I'll never be able to thank you for that part you gave me. Oh, that's all right, doll. You just made good. That's all I want. Won't you have a little drink? Uh-uh, doll. -uh, no. That's done enough damage to me already. Well, I'll have one. Uh-uh. -oh. You better lay off, too. Well, I guess you're right. Sure. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lem. Yeah? Do you feel like rehearsing that part with me again? Well, sure, I don't mind. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Just sit there, just a minute. And here's my scrapbook. Here's all the pictures while I make myself comfy. Oh. You'll find it very amusing. Fine, fine. Say, doll, you've done some nice things according to this scrapbook. Thank you, Mr. Lamb. Doll, I'm certainly going to help your career. He Get on in there, sir, and don't make no bad move. What's the idea? Why don't you leave me alone? You got it coming, chum. I'm minding my own business. Haven't you done enough for me already? You killed my wife and you ran me out of town? We told you to stay out. Now we ain't got no more patience. Say your prayers, actor. Cut it out, Galloway. You know what Rock said. No shooting, no killing. Be quiet, chick, or I'll kick your teeth down your throat. The heck with what Ralph said. Oh. 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 Get away quick, Mr. Lamb. They're playing you, Jilton and Ralph. Watch out. Get a doctor. Thank you, Miss Mavis. Thank you. 
Now, will you give me the potatoes, please? Boy, you don't think there's me no potatoes up here. Well, what is that? They say, give me them potatoes. They don't even say the blessings up here like they do down home. No? No. They just say good bread, good meat. Thank the president and go ahead and eat. <laughs> You're such uneducated person. Such colossal stupidity. Why, boy, you is absolutely illiterate. <laughs> You is absolutely illiterate. You gonna run into my razor yet? Now stop that now, stop that now. Yeah, all right? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma yes, You've enjoyed our show up till now. And fine, fine, fine. And what do you think? And now, ladies and gentlemen, for a wee portion of a Broadway atmosphere. And who do you think is going to give it to you? None other than an inimitable singer of songs, Laura Lou. All right. Thank you.
out of danger, Miss Davis is unable to supply the slightest clue to the police. And the producer, Lem Anderson, last seen with Miss Davis, is held for questioning. Poor Lem. He never seems to get out of trouble. The show opens tonight, and he's in jail. Imagine my embarrassment. And if it hadn't been for such a tremendous sale of tickets, my people would wipe their hands of the whole affair. The district attorney has agreed. Under certain conditions. He will deliver them to the theater tonight on the police guard. You mean to say a policeman is going to be with him? Exactly. And after the performance, Lem must return to headquarters. You know we got to clear Lem of this whole mess. Doubt. You see, Lem is too stubborn to talk. And the girl, she won't talk. So there isn't anything further I can do. But I can. I'll go to the hospital, and I'll have a talk with that girl. Oh, Mr. Lamb. Oh, my head hurts. Rob, stand away. OK for visitors? Yes, Benny. it's all right. Oh, they, they, they shoot. Oh, oh, Asha. Oh. oh, my head. My head. Are you all right, Mr. Lamb? Yes, Mr. Lamb is all right. They now. didn't shoot him, did they? No, they he's alive. He ain't him. hurt none. He's only angry oh. about you. He's so fine and so good. And what they try to do to him. If you really want to help Mr. Lamb, you'll tell me what happened. Who are you? Yes, the friend it is, just like you. They try to frame him, the mob. They try to run him out of town. They try to ruin him with the street people, disgrace him. I took him to my apartment. He wasn't to blame. I, I, I just couldn't go through with it. He's always been so nice to me. And then what happened? I tried to stop Ganaway from shooting. I tried to save Mr. Lamb. Oh, do you think I'm going to die? No, child. You're not going to die. The doctor said you're going to be all right. Who tried to run him out of town? Rob Jackson and Matt Gilson, that's why. Mr. Lamb saw Gilson shoot Jewett. They were afraid. Yes. Honey, child, you don't know what this means to Lamb Anderson and to me. It ain't 
no need to cry, little girl, because a lot of things have been show business. Yeah, you're going to cry about this. Our star's in jail and he ain't going to get out. So you might as well take off your costume. Why? There's Uncle Lem now. What? Where? where, where? All right, Anderson, go on with your show, but remember, I'll be here with to take you back with me. Wait, I'll go see. I understand. Glad to see you, Uncle Levin. The folks are waiting. Could it go on? Sure. What are you waiting for? Get in the costume and makeup and everything. Hello, pal. Waiting for someone? Yes, I'm from headquarters. I'm waiting for Anderson. I can find this out. Jack Adams. He told me. He was big as a Ganaway before he left town. Oh, that's it, huh? Ganaway shoots Dahl, trying to get Anderson. There's only one guy in town could have given orders for that. Sure. Matt Gilson. Yeah. That's it. Matt Gilson, the lousy double-crossing rat. Where are you going, boss? I'm going where I know I'll find Gilson. It is the cause. It is the cause, my soul. Yep. She must die or she'll betray more men. Peace. It's wonderful. <laughs> put out the light, and then put out the light. Yeah, go ahead and put out the light so we can all go to sleep. <laughs> I cannot give it vital growth. It must need wither. Get away from there. <laughs> ah, she waits. Oh, fellow. Don't you come to bed, my lord. <laughs> Nothing to himself tomorrow. Here he is, Simon. Heaven have mercy on you. Desdemona, with all my heart. Amen. Some bloody passion shake thy very fame. I hope it do not point to me. Desdemona. That handkerchief that I so loved and gave to thee, thou gavest Cassio. No, no, my life, my love, my soul. Sweet soul, take heed, thou art on thy deathbed. But not to die, not yet to die. Yes, yes. Yelling Desdemona. To deny each article of oath, and not remove or choke the strong connection that I grow with all. Thou art to die. No, no, she can die. No, no, she can die. No, no, she can die. She can die. No, she can die. No, she can die. No, 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 she can die. Oh, 
Because that's real music. I'm telling you. Oh, rock, church, rock. <laughs> that's the dirty trumpet. <laughs> Well, there's your Well, then, get your clothes on. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> and you were all fine in your part, each and every one of you. You were the one, Uncle Lee. Ah, but Desdemona, I owe a lot to your way. Still is. It wasn't exactly the Othello that I wanted to do. It might not have been the Othello you planned. But you sure made him like it. Still looking for Lem Anderson, eh? Yeah, and I'm gonna get you too. Baby, now guess what we're going to do. 